Is the ICT sector better today than it was before 2011? With three groundbreaking policies, over 20 initiatives launched and 18 ongoing projects, the Good Luck Belly Jonathan administration has made huge strides in the ICT sector, changing lives and moving Nigeria well on the way to being a digital economy. This all began in July 2011 when President Goodluck Bella Jonathan created the Federal Ministry of Communications Technology. It was created to facilitate ICT as a key tool in the transformation agenda for Nigeria. Some of its initiatives include a robust national broadband strategy aimed at facilitating the achievement of universal broadband access in Nigeria. NIGECOMSAT 1R launched to deepen broadband accessibility. Niger Cloud, the digital jobs creation project, an initiative designed to create awareness of ICT enabled online job opportunities in an industry estimated to be worth over $20 billion. IDEA, the Information Technology Developers Entrepreneurship Accelerator Project, serves as a powerful technology launch partner to nurture and produce successful IT entrepreneurs. The University Intercampus Connectivity Project, promoting access to the internet, providing smart classrooms, and promoting research in tertiary institutions across the country. About five years ago, we started a curriculum review, which relies heavily on the internet. And it hasn't worked so well because we didn't have the bandwidth. So bringing this in has worked. I mean, it has just sort of so sorted out our problems because over time we've had to re rely not just on books and we've moved on into e-resources and the world is so small. We can now, you know, talk with people abroad. So it's really opened up a major area for us. In addition to that, it's given us a smart class. The Ministry of Comtech has had a lot of value to the Nigerian technology industry. I and my company as a beneficiary of this industry, without certain enablers that we sort of um, came in contact with, things will have been way, way tougher than it is. We, yes, we had, should I say, killer product, and then we also had maybe the right strategies. But then, you know, um, the enablers uh, made it just flow, you know, and, and, and that's a big deal for us. As a result of all these projects and initiatives, huge strides have been recorded in the ICT sector by the Good Luck Ebele Jonathan administration. Nigeria has one of the fastest growing e-commerce sectors in the world with over 300 e-commerce sites, attracting over $200 million local and foreign direct investments. The digital connectivity policy as well as the regulatory environment created by this administration is driving ICT entrepreneurship and job creation in the fast-growing ICT sector. Clearly, the ICT drive of the Good Luck Bill Jonathan administration is working. Today, ICT is the fourth pillar of the Nigerian economy, contributing about 9.58% to the country's GDP. I imagine that if with our population we have over 170 million people, amongst them we have about 50, 58 million that are literate youths that actually they know what they are doing. If among them we can get just a million youths actively involved in online contracting and we are not making any money at all, we could make probably thousand dollars in a year that's a billion dollars that's actually being drawn into the GTV. We are on a growth trajectory and if we continue with the policies I see us being uh, achieving that uh, being in the top 20 economies by the year 2020. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. President Good Luck Jonathan remains committed to the vision of creating a new Nigeria and a new generation of Nigerians who are fully integrated into the global digital economy. 
A connected Nigeria is a transformed Nigeria. When good luck promises, he delivers.